Hi, Rich Spisano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 37 in my powerful tools of affinity. Just give me a minute, because there's no more room, so I just need to do some quick rearranging. There we go. So now we're all set up. So today we're going to do number 37 of Powerful Tools of Affinity. And we're going to do a quick, easy photo manipulation in both iPad and desktop. And it'll only take a minute. So let's get started. So in this tutorial, we're going to do double up. And Double Up is such a simple tutorial, it is going to be so short that I'm going to start it on the desktop and go right to iPad, and it's only a few minutes each, and any beginner can do it. So I pulled in this photo from Pixabay. I typed in cars and I found this one photo. You can probably use any photo, but I put the link to this one in the description below. And so I'm going to go to Layers, and we're going to Double Up. So the first thing I'll do is Control or Command J. And now we have a photo, same exact photo right on top. So I'm going to change the blend mode and we'll try on this one negate, negation. And there alone is a cool effect. One simple thing, but what, I, what this tutorial is going to show you is how we can double up. So I'm going to double again, control or command J. And this time, instead of negation, I'm going to change that to color burn. There we go, color burn. And this, I think, is a very cool thing, and it took under a minute. Just so simple, and all I did basically is color burn on top of negation, which made two blend modes, so we have double blend modes on the original photo, going to the original photo. And that's how simple it is. So now I'm going to show you it in the iPad. So as you saw in the first two minutes, I did this tutorial on the desktop. Now I'll show you the iPad. Once again, I did the same thing. I pressed down here, that's stock photos. And in Pixabay, I typed in car and this photo came up again. So now I'm going to go to my layers and there's my image. And so you can make it any size. I'm using two fingers to make it easier for you to see. And now, what I'm going to do is duplicate. Now on the iPad, I just have to press down with my finger and let go and say duplicate. And now I have another version. Now, the way it works in the iPad, I'm fairly new to the iPad, so bear with me a little. The way it works is right up here, there's a menu and I press it and then I'm going to hit that and go to just like I did the first time. My first blend mode is negation. So let me see if I could find I'm sure it's right in front of me. There it is, negation. So now it's negation, and that's how I got the first thing, and that works out really nice, and it looks pretty good. I mean, even that alone is so simple. And believe me, you can do so many things on top of this. I'm not trying to show you that. I'm trying to show you the simplicity of what you can do by doubling up on photos and doubling up on blend modes. So, so once again, I need to double up. So how do I do that? Well, I press down on the photo, and I say duplicate. So now I've duplicated again, but this time I go up to the menu and I'm going to change my blend mode just like I did before to color burn right here. And there it is. So let's not, let's get this out of the way. Uh, I think I can move that. I don't even remember. There we go. And that's your photo. So, so simple. If any beginner can do it, you don't have to be an artist. You take a photo and you and and maybe the photo you're using I use negation and then color burn but maybe your photo can use other types of blend modes and maybe it won't work with those two blend modes it depends on the photo so try different things and I hope you liked this tutorial and hope you found it useful so if you did please click like and subscribe and have a great day thanks so much bye